friends welcome back to my studio i hope you're well a few vlogs ago i spoke about how to work loose by using these grid line options and i showed you the journal about drawing up a grid and then i showed you how to mask off a large piece of paper and make up these smaller little grid paintings and i thought i would show you another version of how to do a grid like this, but to keep it in a book form where you might be able to, rather than keeping them as individual square work like these and these, is to do it in a concertina style journal that you could continue to work on the pieces more as a whole piece rather than setting it up as individual squares like, like these. I'll show you how that's done today. So we're working on, again, this multimedia paper, A2 cartridge. And I've got some Posca pens, a couple of a flat and a round brush, and a few paint colours similar to the Posca pens. And I've also got some pencils and a compressed charcoal to work with today. First step is to prepare this paper into a grid and give myself some space here. You want to fold your piece in half and because it's quite thick and you get these kind of buckling edges, just use the edge of your paintbrush to score that line and then you want to come half over again and the other half Sorry about the bouncy camera. So we've now divided that up into four. And then you wanna go in halves the other way. could do this after you've painted but it's easier to get your score lines down so when you're folding it and cutting because later on we'll cut into this it's easy to have these lines there before you put all your paint on now I don't want borders on this but I am just going to tape it down a little to help it not move around I'm working on this white table today which does move around a bit so again I apologize that the camera is shaking around I'm not on my solid bench today because I needed the room to spread out
Okay, so the idea is that we'll work on this after it's a book, so you don't want to have too much information down. You're just playing, working very, very loose. And now we'll dry this off and turn it over and do the same on the other side. And so we repeat that on this side. What I'm going to do is bring in a little bit of collage on this side with some of this serviette. I've just taken the other ply off, so it's single, single ply. And I'm just using a bit of Mod Podge. You can use PVA. Okay, and when that is dry, we're going to cut along these lines. And I'll show you on this blank piece because it'll be easier to see. We're going to cut along this line, turn it around and cut on this line to here. And then we're gonna cut on this line to here. So you can start to see the shape of the concertina as it will fold. So if I show you perhaps on this one first. So we cut along that one. And you're cutting before that last fold. And coming around and we're cutting on this fold. And that gives us concertina. So this one I've done both sides so let's cut this. So that's why because you've painted on already that's why I've said to put the folds in it so you can see where you're cutting. So the bottom first quarter cutting from the bottom to the top quarter on the other side final quarter cutting that one just to the final one and then we're going to come down the center to here Okay, 
so that's what you should have and then just fold it up can fold out like this you can cut those and join them so it's a straight concertina you can work on it like this as well so you can see rather than the one piece now we've got these little individual I mean these were more finished of course so they've got a lot more paint on them and you can work on these I haven't put as much on there so I can go back in and work on these. You could do it as completely finished as this if you like. Totally up to you. So you can start to have little pieces to work on, interesting shapes. You can just work on it as an individual piece or fold it out. And you can also work on it as a larger, a larger piece. And then because we've painted on both sides, we've got these, ooh, that's interesting. That's really nice. I do like, prefer collage, so perhaps I'm more drawn to that side. That's really nice. Yeah, there's some nice, nice places to go there. Mmm. Yeah, I like this side. Oh, that's much, much nicer. Yeah, cool. So as I said, you can go through and cut all the way. Perhaps I'll show you on this one. Rather than our little squiggly full piece, you can go through, of course, all the way. could tape them with masking tape. That you then just work over or you could tape it with some washi tape to add to your design. Obviously those autumn colours don't go at all with these pastels. But, and then you would tape the other side as well. And then that would give you the masking tape holds a bit easier. So that gives you a classic concertina style and the same thing working individually or having it as pages or this this version another way to work in this grid grid pattern where instead of looking at a piece like this you're able to narrow it down to smaller or a running a running piece like that to continue to, to work on. I hope that inspires you to get going in the studio and, and having a play and having an experiment, seeing what beautiful surprises can come about by painting as one big piece and then cutting it down into smaller pieces. And it can really surprise you and give you something fresh to bounce, bounce off. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hello to all my new subscribers. And thank you so much as always for all of you for watching and hanging around. And I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye.